The overall theme of the collection, it was a take on sort of minimalism. That was a really big thing that designers asked me to work on. And also there was a 60s inspiration coming through from like Marc Jacobs, Louis Vuitton, Prada. Some of the key designers that people really look for trends. With the help of the Redkin products, it really pushed my artistic boundaries really to sort of reinvent kind of minimal hair. Mark Jacobs was such a sort of visionary designer, one that everyone looks at to see what his vision is for the coming season, and it was this Edie Sedgwick's vibe feeling. Miu Miu, again, was another take on the 60s, inspired by Girls in the Left Bank, which is a part of Paris, Rough Drider, and then I did a deep side part, which I did a lot this season, it was sweeping over the fake bang. And this season, I really took this very extreme side part. And at the Long Band show, it was teased and brushed over. So I got a slight 60s feel as well, but volume was right around the face. What I did there was add guts again to get a great texture, and it really helped to define that look. The Rag and Bone show in New York, I used hardware gel on the front, and then I used powder refresh on the back. Two very contrasting textures on a very simple hairstyle. Future, she always loves girls with fringes or bangs and things. It ended up being like a French twist at the back, bringing the length of the hair over the head and bringing it forward into a fringe or a bang. But it's really important that we get the textures right, the mattification right. I didn't want it to look polished, I wanted it to look slightly rock and roll. I'd also done a take on 60s Bob, which was over the high. So I suppose it referenced Vidal Sassoon and that kind of era. I've always been influenced by those haircuts, which kind of started a whole movement. It's amazing how forward-thinking hairdressers were in the 60s, and young people are still kind of wearing that kind of style in modified ways. When you're working with these big designers, there's nothing left to chance. So all the little wrongs in the hair are the rights, and we should really think about that when we're doing hair again.